Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4 is an amazing game, no pun intended. And like any adventure set in an open world and developed by a passionate team, Spider-Man is filled with all different kinds of secrets. Some of them are placed carefully, while others are hidden in plain sight. So, let's take a look at 16 awesome Spider-Man secrets. Super players. Uncle Ben is the reason behind Peter Parker learning what it means to be responsible with his powers, but unfortunately, that lesson was learned the hard way. The game wouldn't be complete without a reference to Ben Parker, but his gravestone is hidden and does not show up on the map. Once you do find and visit it, you can earn an achievement by taking a selfie right next to it as it's a secret photo op location. One thing that people who don't live in New York City might not know is that there is an iconic Wall Street Bull statue to be found in real life, which is located in the Financial District. Since Insomniac Games tried their best to replicate New York as realistically as possible in the game, they wanted to add that statue too. Unfortunately, they weren't given the permission to do that and, as a result, they had to leave it out. Fortunately, they had a better idea, and it was to include a statue of Lockjaw instead which is an alien dog from the Inhumans comic series. Whether you're a fan of the comics or watch the long line of the Netflix shows based on the Marvel heroes, you'll appreciate the fact that Insomniac did not forget about these characters. You can find references to Nelson and Murdoch's law firm and Jessica Jones' alias investigation department, both as buildings in Hell's Kitchen, which is exactly where they are supposed to be in their respective stories. You can also find the Rand Corporation building in the midtown part of the city, which is owned by Iron Fist. Insomniac Games does not have a studio or office in the city of New York, but the developers changed that in the fictional world of Spider-Man. You can notice the logo of the company in a cutscene on a small speaker. Well, you can find a building with the logo too. Whether you've played Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 2 or not, you must be familiar with the pizza delivery missions thanks to the internet being obsessed with them. One of the most noticeable things about those missions was the catchy soundtrack that plays in them, and Insomniac Games remember it just as well as we do. If you go to a pizza shop in the financial district, you can stand next to its entrance, and once you pay close attention to the sound of the game, you will hear the pizza delivery background music play off in the distance. We all know and love Ghostbusters. Come on, you know you do. That movie was a fun part of our childhoods, and it seems like Insomniac Games is included on that list. You can find the building used by the protagonist in the movie at the intersection of Moore Street and Varick Street in Tribeca. If you had any doubt about this being a direct reference, you can go towards the back of the building and find graffiti that shows a funny-looking ghost too, which makes it more than obvious that this is an intended reference to the beloved movie franchise. If you pay attention to the sticky notes in the game at one point where Peter Parker is waking up, you can see a note that says, Call T.S. Back, with the reason being a job offer. Additionally, you can find the Avengers Tower in the game too, as it's one of the highest buildings in Spider-Man PS4 and pretty much impossible to miss. Not only does this confirm that Tony Stark and the Avengers exist in the game, it even shows that Tony and Peter have met as he has to call Tony back personally regarding a job offer. The job in this case, of course, must be related to being an Avenger. The game has two major references to the Sam Raimi version of the Spider-Man live-action movies. The first one is a direct reference to the infamous emo Parker dance scene from the third movie where he was being weird to citizens and pointing his fingers at them as a part of a weird dance sequence. If you walk around the streets of New York, you can point to civilians in the finger gun stance, which resembles what Tobey Maguire did in the movie. Additionally, we have a reference to the second movie too, as Spider-Man tries to stop a train by shooting webs from its front side, but as they break, he says that this worked last time, which means that this version of Peter Parker has gone through similar experiences. Since the Sanctum Santorum protected by Doctor Strange exists in New York City as well, you can find it in Spider-Man PS4 by tracking it down in the Greenwich Village area. You cannot visit it and Doctor Strange does not make an appearance in the game, but Peter Parker makes an innocent reference to the character by saying, Cool window, but I always get the feeling that something strange is going on in that place. Insomniac is surely tasteful with their references, but hardly subtle. Ever wondered what the world outside of Manhattan looks like? We did too, because the game has other boroughs such as Brooklyn and Queens logged off and inaccessible to the player. However, players manage to figure out an exploit that allows them to break free through the map and take a look at the outside world. 
the glitch lets Spider-Man cross the Brooklyn Bridge by swinging underneath it, and this allows you to take a look at unfinished and poorly rendered buildings of New York that you normally cannot see. And as to be expected, if you try to touch or walk on anything on the surface, you will simply fall into the ocean below. Another glitch that allows players to see something that they weren't supposed to is something that a few people might have heard of already – the low polygon civilians and birds around the water bodies. It takes a specific glitch to break through to that part of the city, but when you do, you encounter very hilarious models of living beings that look like something straight out of a nightmare that you would have as a kid right after playing a PlayStation 1 game. Everyone needs a place to unwind in, even criminals. After all, they're hardworking too. They need a place to get drunk and talk about their shady business deals just like any other normal person. Okay, we'll stop with the sarcasm, but you can find Josie's Bar in Hell's Kitchen in Spider-Man PS4. If you don't know about this place, it's a bar that is often featured in stories related to the Defenders, especially when Daredevil is involved. When you're playing as Mary Jane at Oscorp and reach the hidden room, you can find a secret easter egg that is easy to miss if you're not paying too much attention to what's going on at the place. Although the game did not feature the Green Goblin, you can see three prototype grenades on a table that are very clearly the same grenades that Green Goblin has used in the comics, movies, video games, and cartoons to terrorize our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man for generations. While the game does not include the symbiote suit or an appearance of the Venom, there are certainly easy-to-miss references that you can find. The first one is in a collectible cart that is given to Peter Parker as a good luck wish for his future endeavors by none other than Eddie Brock, as you can see his name written in the middle. Furthermore, Spider-Man jokes about going to a date to one of the characters in the game and she jokingly asks him if he has a black and white suit, which is a not-so-subtle reference to the black Spider-Man suit which he gets before Venom takes it away. And lastly, there is a secret apartment building that can be found in the northwest portion of the city. If you go to the windows of this building, finding the right apartment to stock will lead you to a shelf that has three Spider-Man action figures. One of them is of the black Spider-Man suit. Since Wakanda is one of the most advanced and influential kingdoms in the world of Marvel stories, it's no surprise that they do have an embassy in the New York City as well. You can find it close to the United Nation headquarters in Midtown, and two Wakandan flags will be seen hanging outside of the building. You cannot see what's inside, and the Black Panther does not make an appearance in the game, but it's still nice to see the reference. The building reflections in Spider-Man can be a bit wonky at times, as you can see the Empire State Building as a reflection on most of them if you go high enough, even if it's not actually behind you. However, there is a reflection that is placed hidden in the game on purpose too, rather than a technical mishap. If you go to a specific building in the Greenwich District, going high enough on its glass will cause two tall buildings to appear as a reflection. However, if you look to your back, you will not see anything there as the buildings behind you look different. Still don't recognize that reflection? It's a tribute to the pair of the first World Trade Center buildings which were a victim to the tragedy of 9-11. It's a heartfelt way of keeping it in our hearts, as we will never forget. Super players.